Hey friends, how's it going? Ash here. Welcome back to Gen Sense. Hope that you're doing well. Look what showed up on my doorstep today. Yeah, that's right. The new stupid friggin' bottle, Paco Rabanne Phantom Intense. Like, who even cares about this stupid piece of friggin' garbage? This stupid bottle. It's the dumbest friggin' thing that I've ever seen in my entire life. It makes me just want to blow my head off because it's that friggin' stupid that they would make this child's toy that looks like just a walking moronic piece of stuff and just like, I, I hate it. I hate everything about it. It's so friggin' stupid. Phantom Intense. Yep, the new Paco Rabanne Phantom Intense is psyched in the newest flanker in the Paco Rabanne line. This one you can find right now at Suffrages for $115. That's where I bought my bottle. But after shipping and taxes, I ended up paying $164.26. So if you go onto Suffrages website, you'll be like, oh, $115, nice. Then when you go to checkout, you'll go, oh, yeah. No way, no way, no way. It is coming from Europe though, so it's kind of to be expected. So yeah, guys, the new robot, the new robot overlord Phantom Intense is here. This one obviously following up on Phantom Parfum and the original Phantom that came before it. So in today's video, as always, we're gonna do a little bit of a deep dive on this. Well, as much of a deep dive as we can do because it arrived today, so it's just first impressions. Take a look at the presentation and everything and talk about the new Phantom, see how it stacks up against these guys over here. And as always, here are some codes that you can use while shopping online. The newest code is from the perfumebox.com. Gents Sense will get you 10% off. So we can add that one to the myriad of uh, different codes that are available. The Perfume Box, in case you're unaware, is a fragrance discounter. They have a bunch of clone fragrances on there as well. And I do want to shamelessly promote my extra channel, Extra Gent Sense. If you want even more fragrance content, lists, reviews, etc., check that one out because I cover a lot of fragrances on Extra Gent Sense that I don't hear. All right, guys, let's check out the presentation. So here we have the box on the front. You have the name of the fragrance, name of the house, size, and concentration. One thing you'll notice there is that instead of Paco Rabanne, it's just Rabanne. So that is a little bit different, as well as the logo on top of the box. Instead of the PR that we've grown accustomed to, it is just an R. So Paco is no more. Now it's Raban. Also has a little picture of the bottle on front of the box, just in case you want to know what it looks like. On the back, you have your little QR code that is common with the Phantom fragrances that will take you to the Phantom website, essentially says that it is a vegan formula, 90% natural origin formula, very long lasting and made in France. Then on the bottom, you have your badge code and your barcode along with your ingredients. My badge code, 33382. And here we have the Paco Rabanne Phantom Intense Bottle. So this one has a nice gradient. It's a deeper blue toward the bottom, black up top. And when the light doesn't hit the bottle, it almost looks like it's just all blacked out. You have that R on top of the atomizer. Again, I don't have to get used to that. I don't know if I like that. Bring back the pot go. On the bottom, you have your badge code etched into the glass along with your typical information, eau de parfum, etc. Let's go ahead and give it a spray. Here we go. Atomizer is pretty good. Nice distribution, nice atomization here. I like what you got going on. I gotta admit, I'm getting really hung up on the, uh, the R on top here. Yeah, R versus PR, let me know which one is better. PR is better because that means personal record. Let's spray these guys out as well. And interestingly enough, uh, that means that on all three of my bottles of Phantom here, there is a different thing on the top. So this one has the little Wi-Fi symbol, or what is it, the uh, NFC symbol? And then this one has the PR Paco Rabanne, and this one has the R Rabanne. Let's start talking Phantom <laughs> Intense. First off, it is a Phantom. What does that mean? It means that this is going to catch a good amount of hate when it first comes out. Same thing happened with this one and this one. And honestly, will probably happen with every Phantom. Does that mean automatically that this is bad? No, but the noise around the fragrance initially is probably going to lean pretty heavily negative. So keep that in mind. Now, of these two, I, I don't like this one a whole heck of a lot. This is not really my style of fragrance, and I do think the, the way that it comes across, you know, is a little 
a little cheap, a little synthetic. I'm not a huge fan of the original Phantom. The Parfum Edition I do think is better. I think this smells much nicer than this one. This also has a good amount of vanilla, also has tolu balsam, has lavender, it has rhubarb in there, which adds a nice contrast in the opening. The citrus is not as overdone, sickeningly sweet in the Parfum Edition. It's a little bit deeper. Overall, smells higher quality to me, more interesting, just overall a better fragrance. So while this one I don't really like, this one, not too bad. And that brings us to Phantom Intense. Uh, this does smell a little bit in line with the other fragrances. You can tell that it is a Phantom. It's maybe a little bit closer to this one than that one. And I have worn this a couple times today. Like I said, came in earlier today about noon, and I've been wearing it through the day, reapplying as I usually do. Opens up really pleasant, actually. It's got a, a nice, uh, they call it iced orange blossom, and you pick that up. It's got a very refreshing opening. It's vibrant. It is sweet. You can pick up lavender pretty much right away. And the lemon in here is kind of interesting because it is a bit sugary. It's a little candied, the lemon, but even though it's sugary sweet, I actually find it way more appealing than what's going on over here with the original. Because the original also had a lavender that was pretty noticeable and sweet and lemon that was sweet, but it feels better done here. So that's how it opens, a very brisk, refreshing orange blossom that doesn't really have any of the potential animalic aspects that orange blossom can occasionally have. And uh, it does smell kind of like a, um, yeah, a sweetened up romanticized orange blossom more so than a natural orange blossom, but it still smells really appealing. You get a touch of powder as it starts to dry down, mainly coming from that lavender, which stays pretty prominent into the mid. And it loses a little bit of that freshness as it dries down and it starts to become more of a boozy vanilla forward fragrance. I'd say in the air, especially in the mid, this is easily the best of the three. The mid is gonna be my favorite part because you have remnants of the lavender that carry over, the orange blossom that carries over, a touch of that lemon that carries over. And so you end up having this juxtaposition of fresher notes that do have sweetness that are a little bit on the higher end, those notes, the, the way the sweetness comes across. And then these deeper, warmer, richer notes that are again, sweet, melding in underneath. So it's a nice juxtaposition there fresh and sweet, warm and sweet, kind of meeting together in the middle. And again, in the air, it smells good. But I do think up close, it's not as nice as in the air. Uh, my wife, she smelled this one in the opening and the mid and the dry down. And her reaction the whole way through when she smelled it up close was, that smells okay. Oh, it's okay. But in the air, when you walk by, it's like, oh, what is, what, what is that? It's the thing you said was okay. Yeah, so be aware of that. This is one where you catch a whiff of it and it smells much more pleasant than if you're right up close, at least for me here today. In the dry down, this one is uh, decent for me, but it's not quite as nice. At that point, it becomes a little more typical, I guess. Vanilla, lavender, touch of booze. Mm. Still smells nice but it is a scent profile that's pretty common right now. And I don't know in the dry down that this is better than, than that. Maybe this in the opening and the mid is a little more interesting than this one for me, but as they dry down, it starts to kind of swap a little bit. And one other thing, and again, this is just first impressions. I have only sprayed this on a few times, you know, let it dry down and spray it on again. So, you know, most of the day I've been doing that, but it doesn't feel as strong as either of these. It, it didn't seem to push quite like the other two, which is very odd to me because Phantom is not a line that I would peg to have a, an intense version come out and, and be worse in terms of performance than the ones that came before it. It seems like the type of fragrance line where, again, it's Paco Rabanne, it's in a friggin' robot bottle, that they're just gonna go, ah, heck with it, man. Just make it melt people's faces off. Like, that's the level of performance we're looking for here. If you're not physically assaulted by the fragrance, we don't want it. We want something that's gonna be harassing people in a very uncomfortable way. Like that's that's the level of performance we're talking here. That makes no sense to me. Why would I harass somebody who turns me on? It just seems to <laughs> seem a little closer uh, to the skin than the other two for me. But again, first day, so we'll see. I'll put it through its paces and, and we'll see how it goes. In terms of seasonality, it's a sweet one. 
but it does have some freshness off the top. For me, spring, fall, summertime, I'd probably go something else. Wintertime, it could work decently. So for me, yeah, more spring, fall for this one. Uh, daytime or evening, either one. With it being a Paco Rabanne Phantom fragrance, uh, it does lean a, a little bit youthful. But as with all things, if you're an older gentleman and you spray this on in a store and you love it, you wear it. So as for me, where do I sit with this uh, fragrance, you know, my first impressions, comfortably better. Than the original i would wear this 10 times out of 10 over the original i think in winter time i'm still going with this one and then i think spring and fall i would go this one so it depends a little bit in terms of seasonality i do think that the mid of this one is the best smelling part of any phantom fragrance so far and i think in the dry down this loses against this one uh, but not in a massive way so i would say opening and mid, I like this one the most. Dry down, I like this one the most. Nothing, I like this one the most. So there we go, Phantom Intense. Uh, definitely not as bad as it's going to catch flack for. This is definitely not as bad as it's going to be made out to be initially. It's going to be a whipping fragrance. A lot of people are gonna dump on this, really hate on it hardcore, but it's not that bad. I think you could potentially, you know, take some points away from it for being not anything really new. The opening is, is decent, but you know, in the mid, as it goes into vanilla boozy territory, that's something that's been done a lot here lately. So you could say, oh, well, it's derivative slash boring because of that, but does it smell bad? To me, it does not. Kind of like uh, Bad Boy Cobalt Elixir, right? That one uh, can be a little derivative because of the way it uses vanilla, which has been done and done and done, but I kind of like the way that smells. So it's one of those deals where I can tell you, is it kind of derivative? A bit, yes, but does it smell bad? No, that's also a little what's going on here as well. So there we go, Phantom Intense. Uh, the big drawback here potentially is the performance jury is out on that. So I'm gonna have to give it some more wares out and about and really kind of pay attention to it. You know, is it still there? But outside of that, not too bad actually for a cheesy robot bottle. There we go guys, thank you for hanging with me. Stay safe out there. I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you later.